Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from Carlisle. So I'm sat in a Land Rover Defender, the old one. So it's a very special old Land Rover Defender. More on that in a moment. Because next to me is an old Land Rover Defender, but a very special one too. More about that in a moment. And then on the far side is the new Land Rover Defender V8. And of course, we are gonna have a drag race. Now let me start off by telling you about this particular Land Rover Defender because it's by Arconic and they've done quite a lot of work to it. Probably seen by the interior. Look, this lovely trimmed interior. It feels as so slightly sexual in this color. Mm, but very, very well done. It's like it's new. It's better than new, what we're talking about. Though there is something a little bit kind of strange that's concerning me and um, yeah it adds to the sexual theme because let me show you this with this camera the gear selector there it sort of looks like it's been trimmed from a bull's foreskin can you see that yeah yeah I can't unsee it now anyway that's not the important thing about this car what is, is what's under the bonnet. So they've swapped out the normal engine and it's now got a Chevy 6.2 litre LS3 V8, which puts out 436 horsepower and 475 newton meters of torque. And obviously it drives all four wheels for a six speed automatic gearbox. This thing weighs in at 1,860 kilos. So really it's not that heavy for a Defender, is it? With a V8. Price-wise, well, because of the amount of work done to this car, it is rather expensive and rather exclusive. They start from £225,000. Now, moving on to that other rather cold-looking Defender, because it hasn't got a roof, let's speak to its owner and creator, Mr Richard Morgan. So, Mr Richard Morgan, tell me about your vehicle. It's cold, very cold. That's what my vehicle is. Look at you and your palatial luxury with the quilted leather seats. I bet they're heated as well. They are very, very much heated. Although I can't seem to figure out how to turn the heating on for the ventilation system. So I still got water vapor coming out of my mouth. It's still chilly in here. All right, I'm gonna quickly go over the stats of my car so we can get this race going, because I'm freezing. Basically what I've done on this is I put a last performance Tesla drive unit, mid mount. It's about 675 Newton meters of torque, 500 odd horsepower. I have no idea on the performance uh, stats. I guess we're about to find out. How heavy is that thing? It's about 1,900 kilos, so it's a touch heavier than a standard 90, but not by much. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much the same weight as this, um, which sort of brings me on to the new Defender, because like this one, it's got a V8. However, it weighs in at 2,471 kilos, so it's a bit of a lard ass. Still, it has got good performance. Under the bonnet, it has a five litre supercharged V8 with 525 horsepower and 625 Newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed automatic gearbox, no launch control, but it probably won't need it. It's got loads of traction from its four wheel drive system. And if you want to buy one of those, they're a hundred thousand pounds. Now that one's actually been lent to me by AMT Auto London. So if you're thinking about getting a high performance car, check them out, put a link in the description. If you're interested in doing a electric conversions of classic cars and you'd like Richard to do it check out electric classic cars there's a link to his YouTube channel you can see all the different things that he does when converting old cars to make them super fast with Tesla power units and if you're interested in a beautiful high performance luxurious feeling bull foreskin <laughs> Land Rover V8 old school style check out Arconic the link to them is in the description as well right we do this let's go with it buying a new car then head to car wow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price car wow your one-stop car buying comparison site now richard before we start obviously we've got to do the customary car wow sound check so i'm just going to rev this thing up oh my god the way this just flexes when you rev it oh oh it sounds so good over in the new Defender. Let's have a listen to that. Rev up. Okay, so Richard, um, you're, you're basically in between two beautiful musical instruments. Um, let's have a listen to the, the sound that your vehicle makes.
You do realise for the next conversions you do, you're going to have to somehow build in some sound using it that plays that noise, otherwise it's like trades descriptions acts or something like that. I've already made a note to myself, the next car I build, I'm going to have heating in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Would you like to get on with this rather quickly before you perish? Yeah, I can't feel my fingers anymore. <laughs> right, before we race though, if you're thinking about selling your car and you want to make sure you get a good price for it, you can use CarWow, you can click on the pop-out banner up there, I'll follow the link in the description below, upload some photos of your car, brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car and then they'll just come to your house, take your car away and put the money in your bank account. It's such an easy way to sell your car. Now if you want to do that at a later date, simply Google Wow Me Car Wow and we will wow you. And I'm about to weigh you now with the performance of this iconic Land Rover Defender. Come on. Don't want to touch the ball's cock. I'm going to have to. Ooh, it's stiff. Ah, you have to press the button. Richard, I've got to say, that is one of the most exciting races I've ever had. And it's in Land Rover Defenders. Where are you? Where are you? Are you all right? I lost. I'm not all right. What happened there? I just, like, I must have been asleep on the line, right? I need another go at that. Yeah, we can do another go, but I think I might have just been picked by the new Land Rover. You were ahead of me, then I came back against you. I don't think you can do any better, mate. I can definitely do better than that. Didn't you see how long I was stuck on the start line for? It just wheel spend and you were about 10 metres ahead before I even set off. OK, come on, let's do it again. No excuses this time, Richard, right? Yeah, my reaction's a little bit more warmed up now. OK, and to be totally honest with you, I was struggling with this, holding it on the brake, and it did kind of creep forward a bit. So let's see if we can both do a perfect launch. Keep it fair. door open <laughs> the panels are just going like that it's like <laughs> it feels like the door is open is it i don't know maybe it was i think this one is as well he won that one richard yeah yeah well no my hat nearly came off <laughs> but you've got to do best two out of three right oh. I don't know, Richard, I think I might have just had you on the line. I'll tell you what, that is a photo finish right there, mate. I don't know who won that. I think, actually, the new Defender won it. You know what we've got to do? You know what we're going to do? Are we doing another one? No, it's, it's the line. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the new Defender V8 won, completing the standing quarter mile in 13.4 seconds. The iconic and electric Defender actually both finished bang on the same 13.6 seconds with nothing between them. OK, now we're going to have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour. I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. Kick down. 
so you can get to the half mile first. Richard is off, of course. There we're going. Come on. Can I pass him? This is the quarter mile. This got very noisy in here. This, this door's like flapping around. <laughs> hey, do you know, do you know what, Sam? Um, at those high speeds, you can tell the fit and finish of this generation of Land Rover Defender is nowhere near as good as one you've got because the door's starting to like flap around. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's open, but it's not. How are you feeling there, Richard? <laughs> I can't believe Matt is complaining about little flappy doors. I've not even got doors, Matt! I saw you wiping the tears from your eye. Was, was that because you looked so disappointed that you got absolutely destroyed? Was it just because of the wind was in your face? My eyes are leaking because they're so cold. Okay then, so we did that to the half mile and you lost. Would you like to choose this next race, what we do, from what speed and how far we do it over? I reckon from, say, 30 miles an hour to the quarter mile. Okay, okay, all right. And you can call it in, all right, if you want. That's if my fingers work on the radio. <laughs> They're so cold. Do you know what? I actually want a little go in that. Um, maybe I should drive and see what it's like. What, and you mean I can get into the heat? Well, as if I'm going to say no to that, right? Let's do that, let's do that. We'll swap over then. Okay, um, I, I'll leave the heated seat on for you to warm me up a bit. Whose idea was it to bring a convertible to a drag race in January? I don't know, probably the same kind of mad person who puts a Tesla motor into an old Defender. <laughs> I wish I had a jacket on. I'm freezing already. I'm glad we're only racing to the quarter mile. Go on then, Richard, you start us off. Hang on, I've got to learn how to drive a car again here. There's a, there's a big gear stick in the middle. What do we do here? Pull it back, put it in D. How's this work? That's it, just imagine you're grabbing a bull's cock and um, just pull it back. You've probably done that before. Doesn't want to go back. Press the knob on the top and then do it. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Let's do this, because I'm freezing. Just delay things to make you even colder. <laughs> just to bloody hurry up. Okay, we'll get up to 30 miles an hour. I'll count it in, so that's 20, 30 miles an hour, right. Come on. One, go! Whoa! <laughs> Bloody hell! Oh, I'm cold! <laughs> this thing makes a noise! His eyes were warring, my nose is running. <laughs> <laughs> my bum's on fire, Matt. I forgot about the heated seats. I feel like I wet myself. How are you feeling over there, mate? My teeth are actually chattering already. <laughs> Can we swap back, please? <laughs> Can your fingers even move and touch the radio or what? Matt, <laughs> <laughs> that's the funniest thing. <laughs> I was laughing my head off looking at you then. Get Jeez. out! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank f for that. Oh. Okay, brake test from 70 miles an hour, guys. Both you and I, Richard, we have no ABS. Could be embarrassing and dangerous. But hey, when we reach the line, full emergency stop. Oh! oh. I lost. Almost died as well. I lost. I nearly smashed the radio to bits. It just went flying forward into the dash. Right. I did the same with my phone. I'm about to turn it over and look at the screen. The screen's fine. Thank God for that. So, new Land Rover. One. Yeah, but it's, it's 
cut bigger brakes and it was really close with the electric car and then it was just at the end it pulled up a little bit of shorter. Yeah, I locked up at the end, so uh, I think the ABS and computers and stuff, whatever on that, definitely helps. And those massive, huge calipers, I can see them from here. I'm quite surprised how much better you did than me, though, Richard. How come? Regenerative braking, baby, regenerative braking. So the electric motors help the standard brakes on this, so it's like turbocharging your brakes with an electric uh, motor. Yeah, I guess. I mean, this has got six piston calipers, but I was just a little bit too kind of enthusiastic and just locked up, as you probably saw. Do you see me snaking? Yeah, I think you win the dramatic competition there. You definitely got a dramatic break on. You should have seen it from inside here. There'll have been a lot of panic on my face, a much kind of like waving about at the steering wheel trying to make it go straight. But anyway, there we go. Now, if you're thinking about buying an electric vehicle, you need to check out the Car Wow Electric Car Hub page where you can check out all the latest offers and deals and information on electric cars. So do that, just click on the pop-out button up there, follow the link in the description below. Once again, thanks to Arconic, AMT Auto, London and of course Richard from Electric Classic Cars. Check out their links in the description. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to Car Wow and we'll help you sell your car. Our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Thanks for watching.